everybody. So I'm outside today because it's such a beautiful day out. And we're gonna do um, a quick journaling project where you're gonna take a walk and wander around some different areas and pick up objects that you find interesting. Um, you know, natural objects like rocks, um, sticks, leaves, whatever you can find. You can even do flowers if it's okay for you to pick them. And um, so gather up a couple, maybe three or five per person, um, some items that you really like from outdoors, and uh, then pause the video right now and come back when you're ready. You're gonna need a piece of paper, um, some coloring uh, utensils like markers, crayons, pastels, watercolor, and uh, a pencil or a pen, all right? So pause the video and come back when you're ready. All right, so I took a walk. I grabbed some things that I liked, the way that their, their shape, their texture, their color maybe. So one of them is this nice stick here. Another is a pine cone. And uh, I think this is a seed pod. I'm not sure from what tree. I wonder if any of my outdoor workers might be able to tell me what that is. And uh, this really nice, uh, fir branch and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with one so I think I'm gonna pick the the stick here and I'm gonna tr I'm gonna hold it down you might need some help with this and trace the outside of the stick as best as I can I'm just lightly running my marker well this is a pen I'm lightly running my pen up against the edge of the branch to create a nice shape it's totally fine if it moves a little bit your goal is going to be to fill up the paper with your tracings. So you can do this as many times as you like with the same object. I'm just going to keep going. Maybe you just pick one object to trace. Um, you can do this a couple times. You can see that I'm turning it and trying to trace from different edges. And my stick moves a little bit. No big deal. I'm just gonna keep tracing all over the paper. And now maybe I'm gonna switch my object. Here's my pine cone. This one might be a little bit trickier. Um, I'm just letting my pen rub against the edge of the pine cone. You can see it made some bumpy little marks, and I just keep keep going with my tracing it's okay if it's not perfect you can just keep going and going and your goal is to fill up as much as you can your paper overlap your lines try to get some nice shapes to happen where your tracings maybe go on top of each other this one's gonna be a little bit bigger it'll take up some space and this is tricky you know you see like all of the different parts of this branch are maybe I don't even include all of the those little angles that are there maybe I'm just getting the outside you also depending on what time of day you're tracing your objects you might see the shadow and if you wanted you could even trace the shadow lines if that makes more sense to you so that gives me some more detail as I work with those nice shadow lines that are there and then maybe I'll just go around the outside of this a little bit all right so keep working on this fill up your whole paper you can pause the video and do this part um, and come back when your paper is completely filled all right so pause the video and fill up a piece of paper with all the traced objects that you've got After you've filled up quite a bit of your paper, you're going to take whatever coloring utensil that you've got. It could be colored pencils, it could be pastels, crayons, watercolors, markers, whatever you want to use. I'm going to use my colored pastels and I'm going to try to try to color in the shapes that I have. And you'll see this shape cuts across this one and I'm going to stop my uh, I'm gonna stop my mark, my color, from going into the next shape that's created. I'm gonna color this, and then I'm gonna pick another color, and maybe the next part of that shape that got cut in half by this line here, I'm just gonna color that shape yellow. 
Um, I'm going to start with my stick here and you can use any colors that you want. They don't have to be, they do not have to be the same color as the material you traced. So if you trace sticks and you don't want to color your sticks, you can see how I, I had a line that cut through this one. So I changed my color when it crossed to the next shape. And oh, there's another line that cuts through it. So I'm going to stop with this color and maybe pick another one and color that little box in like that. Now there's a some separation and I'm going to keep going. Change to red. And there's some, some lines that cut this one so I'm going to take my time and color in those different shapes that are created by my crossing of lines. Just keep going until you finish finish your artwork. Color in all of the different shapes that you've created. And we'll see what everybody gets. If you'd like to color the background a specific color, that's okay too. You can spend some time doing the whole background shape. I think ideally maybe there'd be a bit more tracing of lines on my paper so I didn't have so much big wide open space here, but I'm going to take this blue and color in this big block here. This big block of color. Oh, if I'm working outside, my pages might want to fly away. You might need to have some rocks handy so you can let the edges of your paper sit flat. I'm coloring this whole big space blue. And then my next space outside might be, be, be purple. That's a pretty big space to color. So just spend some time coloring in the different shapes you've created. And then um, I can't wait to see what you've made. If you like this one, if you like the way it looks, you can submit it for the yearbook. So hold on to it and we'll, we can scan it in or take a photo. You can ask for help with that. So I can't wait to see your projects.